I also would like to thank the Carl M. Stubbe Memorial Music Fund. They provide scholarships for us every year, one for the group, and then one goes to a student. This year, our student is Luke D'Angelo. He won it at our senior year. And then we went to um, a student who tends to, to study music, so it's always very appreciated. Um, I do need to have a shout out right now because my choreo director is in the audience tonight, Mr. Drew. So I'm so grateful that he and his lovely bride are here tonight. Um, but without them, I would not be here because I was there 26 years ago. So thank you for coming, Mr. Drew. Years and years ago, um, and he's been in choir ever since, really. And 
he will be off to the Crane School of Music and studying something in music. He hasn't quite decided yet. But wait till you hear him tickle the ivories. You won't be surprised that music is, his, is in, in his future.
asking these beautiful kids up here. Um, they're such a special group, all of them, and they're very loving towards each other. And that last picture in the slideshow was probably one of my very favorite moments that we've had all year. It was a very organic, impromptu moment when we were singing Rainbow Connection. We were rehearsing it. And all of a sudden, I look behind the piano, and I think I look up, and they all just kind of have their arms around each other. And then, the, the, I think it started with the basses, probably. <laughs> and then every section follows suit, and it was such a beautiful moment. And I think we were just, and then I did, like, oh, I take a picture! And I think you take a picture, right? And it was just, they're so special. And thank you for giving them to me to work with for all these years. You skipped over the senior stuff. It's not fair. All right, Maddie, you go first. So, hi, as Cameron just said, I'm Maddie Pfeiffer. My speech is on my phone, so excuse that. Um, I really don't know where to start with the amazing work we've done here. Um, but hi, I think even though tonight is to celebrate the core layers and all of our hard work, we should also celebrate the amazing woman right next to us. I think I speak for all of us when I say that Ms. Creasy is more than a teacher. I think this year is probably the most I've ever cried in Cora Lairs, which sounds like a bad thing, but it's always been tears of joy. Um, as, as you probably tell, I'm a crier, I guess. <laughs> um, not out of sadness, again. She has made this such an exper amazing experiment for me. Ms. Creasy has made Coralaires feel like a family, as corny as that sounds. Thank you. I cannot be to even thank you, Ms. Creasy. You are more than a teacher. Thank you for the endless laughter, the countless pep talks, pep talks, and being the amazing person that you are. It really means a lot, like everything you've done. So. Next here is Ashley Minaki, our secretary. to graduate, I'm not excited to leave Miss Creasy. My sophomore year, I was completely virtual and so detached from the Coralliers. One day she wanted me to stay back to chat and in the nicest way possible, told me to get my act together and come to rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> my mind had drifted away and I felt far away from music. At the time, I felt like she didn't understand my detachment, but she understood it all. She knew I needed to come back here and see the family music I'd been without and I'm forever grateful for her push. Mrs. Creasy always knows. <laughs> Even though we joke about Mrs. Creasy always pitch, like, pitching wire to anyone who rises in the middle of high school and like, harassing people to please join the chorus, <laughs> she does it because she wants to keep the craft alive. She knows that the arts can get overlooked and we all need to stand together to keep it strong. The world is better for Mrs. Creasy and my world is forever changed. Our success is a result from Mrs. Creasy's belief and dedication to our success in the tradition. So, um, you know, I started in sixth grade, um, like Ashley and like Maddie, and, um, you know, I, um, you know, it, it was really, it's been a crazy journey just because of the fact that Mrs. Grishy will tell you that I was not this confident in sixth grade, not by a long shot. Um, I definitely was the kid that just sat there and was like, cool. <laughs> um, and was petrified because middle school is scary. 
Um, and so was high school. Um, but, you know, now, as a senior, I finally managed to make it, and as a junior, I managed to make it to a place where, you know, I am so strong and I have the ability to act on stage. I was in musical, if you didn't know, shocking. Um, and, you know, do tons of other stuff. And I think a lot of that was thanks to Mrs. Creasy, um, just because of the fact that, you know, she pushes you out of your comfort zone, she keeps you going um, during tough times, and I just think that, you know, while, you know, I, I, I never really struggled um, during middle school the way other people struggled, I think that just having somebody to talk to if I ever needed it was something that, you know, kept me going throughout middle school and then into high school. And I wanted to finish my speech before we reveal our senior gift. <laughs> to um, everyone up here, all of the underclassmen, I'll face this way, they're behind me. Um, but I just wanted to say that you guys are the most awesome group of people. I'm so excited to see what you do next year. Keep rocking it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. But you know, it, it's thanks to she's a great director, but it's everybody behind me and you know, everybody putting in their effort that really makes this choir what it is. So, so, this year we wanted to get you a gift that was um, not just something to remember us by, but also something that is practical. No, it is not a puppy. So, we know that you really like your stool that, have, that came from 2013. It was the class of 2013. So, because it's the 10th anniversary of that, we thought that we wanted to upgrade you. So, we also know that you like to stand up and lean over the piano and make sure that you can see us while also playing the piano. So, we got you a piano seat that also rises up and we all signed our names and we wrote without a song and our class on the inside. And that's it. We also got you flowers. because we're doing so many songs about the sun and the moon, and here comes the sun. And it's perfect for us. We worked so hard on it just for you. <laughs> okay, now that's it. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. I, I, think, I don't think the program tells you, but there will be a 10 minute intermission after our last song, okay? You need a break, I know. <laughs>
Hallelujah.